Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, uh, boys and girls. Welcome to Kids Corner, episode number nine. Hope you guys are having a good week. Memorial Day is coming up, and I hope you get to spend time with your family, your parents. Hopefully they have off, and, and you can spend some good quality time with them. Today we're going to be going over a verse and doing some songs, and then we'll hear some uh, a good message from Brother Betts. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. All right, boys and girls, and now for our verse of the week, John 10, 28. And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. And one more time, and I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. Hey boys and girls, it is so good to be back. And I hope you're excited. We've got some good songs for you to sing today. The first one has some action, so everyone's got to stretch. And get ready, because this song is called Don't Try to Tell Me That God is Dead. He woke me up this morning. So we're going to start it off slow if you never heard it. And as we go through, we're going to speed it up. So here we go. Let's all sing it together. Don't, Don't try, try to tell, tell me that God is dead. He woke me up this morning. Don't try to tell me that God is dead. He listened in my heart. He opened up my blind eyes and set me on my way. Don't try to tell me that God is dead. I talked with him today. That was pretty good. But we're going to sing it once more at the same speed so you can catch on. And then after, we're going to speed it up and let's see if you can keep up. Here we go. Don't try to tell me that God is dead. He woke me up this morning. Don't try to tell me that God is dead. He listened in my heart. He opened up my blind eyes and sent me on my way. Don't try to tell me that God is dead. I talked with him today. Don't try to tell me that God is dead. He woke me up this morning. Don't try to tell me that God is dead. He listened in my heart. He opened up my blind eyes and sent me on my way. Don't try to tell me that God is dead. I talked with him today. Good job singing. Now Miss Melissa has a song for us. Hey guys, we're going to sing Jesus Loves Little Children. It's been a while, but I know you know the words, so sing along with us. Ready? Jesus loves the little children, all the children of the world. What color? Red and yellow, black and white, they are precious in his sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. He didn't only love us, but he died for us, so we're going to sing Jesus died for the little children. Ready? Jesus died for all the children. All the children of the world. What color? Red and yellow, black and white. They are precious in the sight. Jesus died for all the children of the world. Last one. He didn't stay dead, but he rose for us. Ready? Jesus rose for all the children. All the children of the world. What color? Red and yellow, black and white. They are precious in the sight. Jesus rose for all the children of the world. Great job singing. You guys did a good job. But make sure you stay sitting up straight. Keep your ears open as Brother Betts gives our Bible lesson for this week. Alright, we got to have an elephant story. It was on a nice morning. It was, they were on spring break. Oh, no, i got to get up and get to work. My goodness. Oh, are you late? No, I'm not late, but i better get up. Mm -hmm. I'll cook you breakfast, honey. He ate breakfast and off to work he went. Oh, my kids are still sleeping. Sparky was in his bedroom. Sparky was in my bedroom. So it was her time to go and read the Bible. She read her Bible and prayed while it was nice and quiet. Oh, it's a beautiful day. I got to wake up, Sparky. Is that you, Sparky? Yes, ma'am. I gotta wake up Sparky. Oh, leave him alone. You'll be alright. Sparky, get up. Sparky, it's a beautiful day. You're gonna wanna go up, get up and go out and play. Huh? Yes, it is a beautiful day. Alright, let's go eat breakfast, mommy. Oh, she's reading her Bible. We better not. We better be. Leave her alone. Oh no, I'll go back to reading, yeah? Let me get your breakfast. So they sat at the table. She gave him a bowl of cereal. I have a hard time keeping me standing up. And they prayed, thank you, Jesus, for this bowl of cereal. Thank you, Jesus, for the frosted flakes and the 
I love Frosted Flakes. Amen. So they ate their cereal and they brushed their teeth and got dressed out of their pajamas. Mommy, can we go out to play? Have you read your Bible story yet? Oh, no. All right, we'll go read our Bible story. And they read their Bible story. It didn't take very long. Now, can we go out and play? Yes, you can go out and play. And Jimbo and Bimbo are going to be coming over in a little while, too. Why is that, Mommy? Because remember, Aunt, your Aunt Nibble, or no, Aunt Jumbo, she uh, take care of an older lady in our church. And so we, I watch the children for every so often, uh, sometimes two times a week, sometimes three times a week. Well, today's the day I gotta watch them. Oh, good evening, they're gonna come over to the house. And so, now in the meantime, when they were out playing, Mommy actually had about a bag of candy that was on sale. She put it in a bowl. Sparky, Sparkette, please come here. Yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am. See that bowl of candy? Yes. Do not get into it until I tell you to. Do you understand me, Sparky? Yes, ma'am. Do you understand me, Sparkit? Yes, ma'am. Well, the day went on. And sure enough, Ma Jumbo brought Jimbo and Bimbo to the house. Knock, knock, knock. Oh, there they are. Come on in. Hi, Jimbo. Hi, Bimbo. They're out playing in the backyard. You want to go play with them? Yes, we'll go play with them. So they went and played. Oops. And she went back. She went to take care of the lady in the church that needed help. Hey, guess what? Come here, I've got to show you something. Mommy was very busy cooking different things because she wanted a nice special meal because she was going to have Pa and Ma Jumbo come over uh, to eat along with Jimbo and Bimbo when they got all done this afternoon or this evening. And so this is what happened now. See the candy? Yeah, you shouldn't do this. Shh, be quiet. Go on out, let's eat it. And the boys were playing, they were having a lot of fun. Until Sparky saw what was going on. Wait a minute, Sparky, what are you doing? Shh, be quiet. You're supposed to not have that candy. I'm going to tell Mom. Uh uh, you better not tell Mom. Well, I am. Get out of my way. And they went and ate more. But Mom knew what was going on because she was looking around the corner. Mommy, Sparky, I think I know what's going on. I will take care of it. You just go have fun with Jimbo. Yes, ma'am. Sparky's going to get grounded. Sparky's going to get grounded. So is Bimbo. Ha, ha, ha. Why are they going to get grounded? They're taking candy out of the candy bowl. Oh. And they came back in. Sure enough, Mom was watching from on the corner of the door in the hallway. Here, shh. She got closer. The girls put more candy in their pockets. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. You girls have not been obeying. Sparkette, especially you. What did I told you this morning? not to eat candy out of the candy bowl. Well, young lady, you're going to sit on the couch until your daddy gets home. That was going to be a long time, because it wasn't even lunch time yet. Sure enough, she had to sit. Bimbo, I'm going to have you sit for a while, but you're going to have to play with yourself, by yourself, today, the rest of the day. Do you understand me? Yes, ma'am. No, I'm sorry. Am I going to get a spanking? No. Just sit down on the couch and think what you did. Because I know you didn't take any of the candy out of the bowl, but she gave it to you instead. Hey, guess what? Jimbo, come here. She's a time out for the rest of the day. That means no girls are going to bother us. Yeah, that's good. You boys go play with Billy. He wants you over to his house. Oh, good. So the way they went. And sure enough, whoopsie, he fell down. He 
came home. He came home early before the boys were to come back home after they ate lunch. Hi, how are you doing? Doing good. Bimbo got tired. She went to sleep. So did Sparkin. What are the girls doing? Are they not feeling well? Oh, they're feeling real good. Well, they are. Look at the candy bowl, honey. You know how full it was when I filled them? Oh, yes. It's always full. Oh, yeah. It looks like quite a bit of scar. Oh, yes. <coughs> oh! Daddy Senior, you go to your bedroom. Bimbo, you're not going to get in trouble by me, but I want you to tell your mommy what you did. Okay? My, your Aunt Nip, Bimbo, told me all what happened. Okay? Okay. So you just tell her what you did get in trouble by me. And sure enough, she did when they came. And so, you know what? No more candy for you for the whole week. No candy. You understand me? Yes, sir. She went to her bedroom and cried one day because she couldn't have candy. Sparky kind of felt sorry for her. So he grabbed some candy out and went to her bedroom. Sparky, you won't. Come here, got something for you. Uh uh, you won't get me in trouble. No, I won't. Yes, you will. You better turn around and look. Oh. Yeah, no candy for you. It's Friday. No candy on Saturday, no candy on Sunday. Now go to your bedroom for a while and think that over. So, boys and girls, is it good to disobey? Oh, no. Always have to pay for it, don't you? I hope this has been a real good lesson for you. God bless you. Hope to see you real soon. Thank you very much. Hey, boys and girls. Thank you so much for watching. And Brother Richard, thank you for that message that you just gave to us about trusting in God. It's a very important that we trust in God. You know, I want to tell you a story how one time I, I trusted in God. When I was eight years old, I was at a summer camp. And during that, summer, during that time at summer camp, a preacher got up and spoke about hell. And he said, he told us that people that don't, that don't accept Christ as their Savior, or don't ask Jesus Christ to come into their heart, they have to go to a place called hell. And he preached about hell, and he preached about the, the, the terribleness of hell. And you know what, I don't remember much of that sermon, but I, what I do remember is, I didn't want to go to hell. And you know, the truth is, boys and girls, we don't have to go there. You know, the truth is, God loves us so much that He sent His only begotten Son, Jesus, to die on the cross for our sins. And today, if you don't know for sure that you're going to heaven, I want to share with you just a couple points from the Bible, from God's Word. And we know that God cannot lie. And number one, we must realize that we're all sinners. The Bible tells us in Romans 3 and verse 23, For all have sinned. Boys and girls, listen, each one of us are sinners. Brother Carl does wrong. Um, Brother Rich does wrong. And you know what? The Bible tells us that we're all sinners. And the Bible also tells us in Romans 3 and verse 23, and come, we come short of the glory of God. God is perfect. And because of our sin, we can't have fellowship with God. We can't be around God. We can't be around God. But the good news is that because God sent His only Son, Jesus, to die on the cross for our sins, we can one day go to heaven. And boy, that's good news. Number two, we must realize that there's a, pi there's a price for our sin, a penalty. And the Bible says in Romans 6 and verse 23, For the wages of sin is death. You know, because of the things that we do wrong, boys and girls, the Bible says that we deserve death. When, when the Bible talks about death, it talks about separation from God. And boy, you know what? I don't want to be separated from God. I don't know about you, boys and girls, but I want to be where God is, and that's heaven. But because of our sin, the Bible tells us that we don't deserve to go to heaven. If you look here in the further in the verse, the Bible tells us in Romans 3.23, But the gift of God is eternal life. We don't have much time to go to tell the story about how Christ died on the cross. But listen, Jesus Christ paid the price for our sin because we couldn't. He paid, a, he paid the price that he did not owe. 
but we but we could not pay. And boys and girls, listen. If no one's ever taken a Bible or they've never shown you or they've never told you how you can go to heaven, boy, I want you to listen very close and we're almost done. So number one, we're all sinners. Secondly, there's a price for our sin. Thirdly, the Bible says in Romans, and this is my favorite verse in the entire Bible. The Bible says in Romans 10, 13, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. That means anybody. That means the person all the way in Africa or the person in China or the person in Zimbabwe. If they put their faith in Jesus Christ, then they too can go to heaven. The Bible says this in Romans chapter 5 and, and verse number 8. But God commended his love towards us in that while you're yet sinners, Christ died for us. And listen, boys and girls, if you never ask Jesus Christ to come into your heart, don't wait any longer because the Bible tells us that we don't know when God is going to give us our, take our last breath from us. And boys and girls, if you haven't trusted Jesus Christ, in just a few seconds, I'm going to pray a prayer. But the good news is a prayer can't take you to heaven. Being a good person can't take you to heaven. Go in the church, even though it's important. And being a good person is important. But the only thing that can take us to heaven is putting our faith in Jesus Christ. And so what I want to do right now is I want to pray a prayer. It's a very simple prayer. And if you have not asked Jesus Christ to come into your heart, repeat the words after me. But remember, to talk to Jesus. Don't do it because Brother Carl is praying. Don't pray because you because you want to pray. You, we're praying now because we want to, if you have never asked Jesus Christ to come into your heart, we're now asking him to do that. So I'm going to bow my heads and I'm going to close my eyes. And you do the same wherever you're at. And repeat these words after me. Remember, it's not the words, but it's what we trust in our heart. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, I know that I'm a sinner, and I know that you died for me. Lord, please come to my heart and save me now. I'm trusting in you, and only in you, to take me to heaven. Amen. Hey, listen, if you prayed that prayer for the first time, tell somebody. Let us be rejoiced with you. Listen. Tell your bus workers, tell your bus captains, tell your parents. Listen, tell somebody. Because we want to be we want to we want to be happy for you. We want to rejoice. We want to thank God. Anyways, hey, I can't wait to talk to you next week. We love you. We're praying for you. See you later.